Hi everyone, it's Margaret with Creative Stamping with Margaret. Thanks for joining me. Today's card is the Christmas Wishes Holly card. I absolutely love the Leaves of Holly bundle that is in the mini catalog. This is one of those sets that I will definitely keep uh, for some time in my um, stamp room. But we are using the bundle today. A lot of it is just die cutting. We're using the dies to cut the leaves as well as the overlay and the berries and as well as the little bit of embellishment. Not a lot of stamping. I For the front, I use the Christmas Wishes stamp set or stamp that is in the set and the die uh, that matches uh, that size sentiment to cut it. Then I, on the interior, I just selected a sentiment, a larger um, holiday greeting from one of the other stamp sets in the catalog. It's, I'm also using the Bows of Holly Designer Series paper. Um, there again, that's a gorgeous paper. It coordinates beautifully with this uh, bundle and um, just... I'll be sad when it's discontinued, but as I said, I'm keeping this bundle for some time in my stamp set. This is one of the projects in the uh, card class kit to go. So it's uh, from the holiday card selection for the month of November. In December, I will not be offering uh, a kit to go. I, fine. I'm busy, and I know everyone else is busy, and um, it's not easy to focus on a lot of card making. But don't fret. Uh, in December, I will be announcing um, the bundle that we'll be using in our classes in January, so there will be offerings uh, for a kit to go for that. So just uh, follow along on my blog. I'll announce it as well as in my newsletter. So if you ordered the kit, you will have received all of these materials pre-cut for you. None of the stamping is done, but you will have uh, the little panel that you can stamp a sentiment. If you do not have this bundle uh, or this stamp set, Obviously, just swap it out with whatever your favorite holiday greeting uh, is. And actually, it doesn't even have to be a holiday greeting. It could just be a seasonal greeting as well. That's the beauty of, um, of this card front. All of the dimensions and materials used for this card are listed in the description of this video so don't fret. I will also have a link to my online store so that if you would like to purchase these, any of these items, uh, you can do, do that as well. So let's go through some of the materials that we're using for, for this card. Of course, I've already mentioned that we're using the Leaves of Holly bundle. We are using the Bows of Holly Designer Series paper, and these are from the mini catalog. And so next we have our card base, which is crumb cake. Then you're going to have a piece of the basic white, which is the basic white for the interior of your card. So you can set that aside. You don't need that for the assembly. Also, you're going to have two pieces of this designer series paper, one piece is for your envelope flap, and then the piece that you'll be utilizing for the front. Now you can decide if you wanna use the poinsettia side or this just pattern side. I'm gonna to continue to use the pattern size. So we're gonna pull that envelope and that piece out of the way since we don't need that. You will also have a smaller panel of basic white and that is for the front of the card. And if you ordered the kit to go, uh, you will have all of these items pre-cut 
So you have a small holly leaf and a large holly leaf. That's the background piece. And let me pull the die just to show you what those look like. So those are the solid, just will give you the solid piece. There's a large and a small. And then there's another large and small that you can see has the fine cut that, that you'll be using. And so for the fine, for the top layer to give the detail, we are using Mossy Meadow cardstock. Now, on the back of this, because this has such fine detail, and then you're going to try to line that up. Whenever I'm doing cards that have overlays, particularly with little fine pieces on them, I find sometimes it's difficult to get adhesive on there. So that's when I like to pull out my adhesive sheets and add them to the back of my cardstock prior to cutting. And you'll, uh, this is how the adhesive sheets come. Those are in the annual catalog on page 157. They are a time saver, and so it's just wonderful. One tip I will point out, and make sure that you're placing, when you go to put it on the die cutting machine, that you place the adhesive piece down so that the white is down and then put your card stock on the top and then uh, with your die. Ask me how I know when I was cutting some, I wasn't thinking, just placed my uh, die on top and ran it through. Was quite upset with myself because I know better. You also will have three gold glimmer pieces and there again this is cut using the die from uh, one of the dies from the die set as well as you'll have a large uh, mossy meadows sprig that's cut from the die set and then you will have two pieces of the holly berries the base is cut out of real red and then the accent piece is out of cherry cobbler and there again I added adhesive sheet to the back panels and then you will also in your kit have the banner that's been pre-cut which you can use to stamp whatever sentiment you would like on that and I have stamped Christmas wishes from the stamp set leaves of holly onto uh, that panel using Mossy Meadow. So let's assemble the card. So go ahead with your bone folder and crease, fold and crease your card base. This card, once you have all the pieces die cut, it really goes quickly. And what I like to do sometimes is just sort of set up a little production line and I'll put my adhesive sheet on the back of my card stock, get out my other dies, the pieces that I need. I'll do all of my die cutting and then I'll just set it aside and the next day or a few days later, I'm ready to assemble and I find that it's a good way to utilize my time and try to stay a little bit organized, particularly as we're getting into this real busy season of the year. And then my husband and I just returned from a three-week cruise to the Holy Land. We went from Barcelona to Israel to Turkey and ended in Athens. And it was just wonderful. So I made these cards some time ago to have them ready for uh, when I returned so that I could get them out and make get them made for everyone. This has been a busy year of travel for us as we had 
trips scheduled during COVID, and they all were rescheduled in the same year. So this was our last trip of the year, and they've all been international trips. They've all been wonderful, but next year we are already looking forward to it being a little bit quieter travel-wise and spend more of our time doing some domestic travel next year. And not as much, particularly as uh, the economy around the world is still struggling. So let's pull in our holly leaves now that we have all of our panels layered onto the front of the card, and you'll want to just take and lift the edge and the backing to get this um, adhesive sheet backing lifted to expose that adhesive. And the nice thing is this helps Often it will pull out, it didn't do at that time, but often it will pull out the little pieces that are still stuck in there that I didn't brush out. So I'll go back and the ones that doesn't pull that that don't pull out with that and they're just not doing that. There are some are. I just makes it easier to Get those poked out. There's a little bit of an edge that the adhesive sheets are not one continuous panel. There's, I think, three cut lines in them, which um, at first I wasn't sure about that, but then it does. I do tend to leave a small little gap sometimes, which helps make it easier to remove those from the um, back, to remove the backing piece because it'll expose a little bit. Let me just get that. I've got a, a couple pieces that I see are stuck on the back, so I want to make sure they're out and that I have all of those little holes exposed. Because if there's a little piece back there, it'll stick up. That's where the piercing tool end of the take your pick tool works fabulous. Then this will just line up on the large leaf. And we're going to do the same on our smaller leaf. And as you see, I have that little gap that I have in there. So that's the area that I'm sliding the tip of my Take Your Pick tool under. Just look how easily this all lifts out. It helps, too, when it comes to cleanup because... All of the pieces are stuck, or the majority of them are stuck to that, still on the backing of that adhesive sheet. So I'm not vacuum it, pulling out the vacuum to pick up all of those little pieces. And just like we did with the large leaf, we're just going to add this overlay piece to our old olive panel. Let's go ahead and prepare the berries. We'll have those ready. And then we'll be set to finish assembling the card because we'll have all of the 
pieces ready to add our adhesive to. Now these pulled off great. And you'll want to find the area that lines up so that you've got three berries. There's five berries total. And you're a, this makes it clear by adding this panel. So there's, I like to put the three, what I call the three on the bottom when I go to line it up. So it's easier to determine where it, where the overlay goes. And there, there is um, stamps, or there are stamps. There's two that are just like the leaves as well as the berries. So you can also stamp them. And it's a two-stage stamping where they, you stamp the base and then you will stamp the overlay. which I have done, and they, it makes just a gorgeous card. So I did not pop these leaves up on dimensionals. A lot of times when I do overlay pieces, I like to pop those up, but I have added the dimensionals only to the uh, berries and to the sentiment. Otherwise, the card just would get too thick for mailing. in our glue dot so that I can add that little one little gold sprig to the top. We will use our dimensionals on the back of the berry. And then you'll want to go ahead and stamp your sentiment, then pull your sentiment piece in, and we're going to add to the back of it the two gold sprigs and the mossy meadow sprig. As you see, I have those uh, peeking out from the side. And I find it easier just to add the mini glue dot to the back of my sentiment and then layer the pieces on it with uh, by touching them to it versus trying to put the glue dot on that tiny little piece. Plus, I will put a dimensional on that location as well, which will help hold that in place. Let me reach up and get another pack of dimensionals out. I see I have just about used all of those on that particular pit sheet. So here we go. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I like to use a lot of dimensionals. I will go overboard sometime on the number that I add. I just uh, have this fear of pieces falling out, off uh, when people take them out of the envelope. So I like to make sure I add some extra. Put our Christmas wishes sentiment 
the lower front portion of the card. Now come back in with another set of holly berries. We're going to place them at the bottom edge of the sentiment. There again, I'm popping them up on dimensionals so that they're the same height as our sentiment. And the finishing touch on the front of the card, let me move this trash out of the way, and then I'll tell you what the finishing piece. So our finishing piece is using the gold satin edged ribbon, and that is in that mini catalog as well. It's a gorgeous ribbon. It's uh, vanilla in color, but it, with the gold trim through it and the open section, ties wonderful. I just love these, uh, some of these new ribbons that Sampin Up is offering because they tie really nicely. So we will add, make a small bow and add that to the front of our card just to give it that little extra finishing touch. So there, we have completed our Christmas Wishes Holly Leaves card. I hope you've enjoyed this card um, and will have fun replicating it. And if you ordered the kit to go, I hope you uh, enjoy assembling it as well and that these instructions have been helpful for you. Don't forget to take that strip, add some adhesive to the flap of your envelope, lay your DSP down. Once it's dried, trim around the edge. And that gives that nice finished edge to your card. So, Thanks for watching the video today. Please take a few minutes to like this video. I would appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel so that you'll receive notification of future videos. Great. Thank you. Have, have a great day.